More than a decade ago, when we started relicensing the Clackamas project, we realized that the big focus in this license is going to be improving fish passage. The, the floating surface collector at North Fork is the keystone of that program. The construction started up at Promontory Marina, and that's where most of the construction of the FSC took place. It was the only logical place that we could build a structure of this size. We basically put it together like Legos, building up as we went along. To launch in more of the FSC, we had to put it on marine airbags. To roll it 175 feet into the reservoir, it took about a week to do. When we moved the FSC down to the dam, that's about three and a half miles. The contract just used a tugboat. It didn't take very long at all. So this is how it works. The floating surface collector creates an artificial lake outflow that attracts downstream migrants away from the turbine intakes and the spillway. The collector places the fish in a 16-inch diameter pipe that transports them around the dam and about six and a half miles downstream. After that, the fish are released into the tail race below River Mill Dam. The real advantage of the floating surface collector is it's going to improve on an existing good foundation of downstream passage survival at North Fork Dam. And so it's going to get us to that goal of hitting 97% passage survival through our hydro project here on the Clackamas. The investment that PG's made really give this project its best years ahead of it.